What's going on guys? This is going to be a tutorial um, for OpenTX and Companion. This video is basically just going to be showing how you can use Companion to change the radio settings on your computer rather than doing it on the radio and also how you, once you do that, sync it back to the radio or if you're at the field and you change something you can take your radio, plug it in and synchronize it so that the computer reflects what your radio is. So. Um, I already have this set up already because I've been using it for a while, but I'll go over the different settings and what they do and what what I would recommend. First things first, um, you have your profile name, so if you have multiple radios, multiple FreeSky radios, you will want to change this to, you know, whatever radio it is. So you have, if maybe you have two X10s or whatever, uh, you can name it X101 and, yeah, and then make a new profile and name it X102. Since I only have one radio, I don't really bother with that, it's just called my radio, because it's my radio. Next up is your radio type, that's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is scroll down here, find your radio, open TX, and Companion do support different radios than just FreeSky. So they have you know all the FreeSky, and then they have the X or 9XR, uh, or 9X, those are Holly King radios. I don't know if they still sell them, but a few years ago they were pretty popular before free sky really took off and then you have you know your custom homemade radios which are pretty cool anyway so this since this is an x10s i'm going to choose that your menu language is again pretty self-explanatory that's just the language that the radio menus use i don't think it affects the spoken audio and the language that it uses there um, but it does affect the actual menus on the screen next up we have build options so what Companion does is, because OpenTX has lots of different options in it that not everybody will use, uh, when you run Companion, you choose the build options that you want, and then when it downloads the source code and compiles the firmware, it looks at these, and based on what you have selected or not, it changes the firmware. So in my case, I have these four selected. This is for the multi-protocol module. This is for compiled Lua uh, scripts, so like with the brain integration, brain 2, you have to have this enabled uh, because the integration script is a Lua C file, not a Lua, which is what this is for. So if you want to be able to run that script, you have to have this there. This is for, this is mostly to disable the helicopter menu in OpenTX because the menu is mostly for mechanical mixing flybard helicopters and since I don't have any of those of course I don't need that menu so I have that checked so it just removes that menu completely and then we have the other settings this is basically uh, the SD structure path is going to be two things one it's going to be when you synchronize your SD card in companion this is where it's going to sync it to and it's also going to be where the simulator uses as the SD card. These settings here, I don't change them. They're uh, pretty good by default. AETR, channel order. Application settings, these are pretty much good right off the bat, so I don't change any of these. If you don't want it to check for updates, you can check these off. But I just leave them because, you know, why not? Simulator settings, once again, I don't really change any of these. If you want to take screenshots with your simulator to share or document or whatever, you just select folder, put in your pictures or something. Then when you take a screenshot in the simulator, it'll go into that folder. So, once you have that, you can uh, go and connect your radio to the computer. Um, sometimes, if it doesn't work, if this is the first time you've connected, you might have to um, update the driver. Um, a lot of times, sometimes, the driver that installs by default if it does at all isn't right and it doesn't work so if that's the case you can just search up um, impulse rc driver fixer and that's a great utility for it's actually made for quadcopters uh, for their flight controllers but it works really well for this you just run the software and it does everything for you you don't have to do anything just run it and you're good once you do that you should be able to connect to the computer and if you look here We've got the SD card, and then we have the flash storage on the radio. So that's your firmware. You don't want to touch that. This is your SD card. So earlier, 
when I was talking about the SD structure path. I already had that. And where that is, I just have it in my OneDrive. You can put it in your documents. You can put it on a you know different hard drive or whatever you want to do. Um, but I put it in my OneDrive so that it's you know always accessible and it's backed up. So this is going to be where the simulator uses uh, as the SD card, and it's also going to be when you s when you synchronize your card, that's where it's going to sync it to. So if you've just set up Companion, you won't have this here. So what you're going to want to do, once you create this folder, the SD path, you're going to go to your SD card on the radio, copy everything here, go to that folder, and paste it all in here. So that's what you can see here. Once that's in there, you're pretty close. So once you have your SD structure set, you can come up here to this little button here, read models and settings from your radio. And what that's going to do is it's going to, as it says, read all of the SD card and the flash uh, storage and bring it into Companion. So click that. And here's all my models here. And you can see it's called document1.otx. That's an OpenTX file. You're going to hit Control S or up here, File Save. Um, put it somewhere. Uh, I put it in the same RC stuff, my radio and all that, in my OneDrive. So I already have it, so I'm not going to save it again, but if I did, uh, I'm going to name it something like, you know, X10S or whatever, like I did there. That's going to be essentially your backup, right? So once you've done that, it's saved. I'm going to go open that since I already have it. So here we have your radio. And if you hit, come up here and hit simulate, here it is. Here's a simulator. So that is how you get the simulator working with companion using your radio so this is exactly how my radio is in real life all right so let's say i just got a new helicopter today pretty cool right so rather than doing the setup on the radio i'm going to do it in companion instead i mean obviously i'm not going to go through the entire setup of a new model i'm just doing this for a tutorial so come up here to model uh, it'll create a new one um, it's going to bring up a little model wizard. I don't personally use it. You can if you want to. It basically just asks questions and then sets it up accordingly. But like I said, I don't use it, so I don't need it. I'm just going to hit cancel and then double click the model. And it's going to bring up what's essentially OpenTX in your computer. So this is the exact same menus that you would see on your radio. So I'm just going to change the name of the file or of the model to tutorial. And that's all I'm going to do for this. But so if I were to simulate it right now, it's going to be that model right now. So if I do this, you can see it right there. So that's your new model that you just created. So once you're done doing all the setup, I'm, again, I'm not going to do it here, but assume I just did, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to close that again. All you have to do to save it to your radio is come over here to this and hit it. It'll take a couple seconds to load and then it'll be done. And then you can go over to your radio and take a look at it. So here's my radio. I unplugged it from the computer. And I'm going to go look. Long press the button here. Model select. Look at that. There it is. So, next part of this tutorial is going to be, like I said, if you're at the field, you change the setting and you want to bring it to companion. Once I have the model selected, I'm going to say I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to add a couple inputs or something. So just go here. I'm not going to actually do this because this is just a tutorial model. But just come in here, create a couple of models or inputs. Come in here, you know, make some mixers. Do whatever. You know, maybe I'll um, come in here and. Change my uh, internal RF type, change to D8 or something, whatever, you know. Just whatever you might do at the field. You probably wouldn't do that, but. <laughs> so, now that I've done that, I'm gonna sync it to my computer. Alright, so one thing that I forgot to mention before I went to the video with my radio on it is once you change something, you wanna hit save. Um, 
that way it saves that new model to your OpenTX file. So once you've done that, um, it is essentially now backed up. Not technically, but pretty close. So as you saw in the video, I changed a few settings, but if I look here, it's not here. That's because I haven't synchronized the radio to the computer yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So all I'm gonna do here, well, first thing I'm gonna do is close this because we don't need it anymore. The next thing I'm gonna do, once again, have make sure the radio is connected, and then all you do is press read, and it's gonna bring up what's on the radio right now. Then what I'm gonna do is hit Control S or File Save, and as you can see, it's a different file name. So all I do, take the old one, the one that I had before, just overwrite it. So now that file contains the new settings on that same model. So now if I open it, ta-da, there they are. So now we've synchronized the radio back to Companion. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to synchronize your SD card between Companion and your radio. So say I wanted to add a picture to my radio, um, to the actual radio itself, but I didn't wanna have to copy it straight to the SD card. Now you can do that, but uh, there are other ways to do it um, so what I'm going to do is copy this folder or file into my SD path. I'm just going to put it into images like that. So that file is now in the SD path for companion, but it's not on the radio. So all you do here is hit synchronize SD and hit OK. So you can see here, create a destination file. H, which is the uh, drive letter for the radio. Images, wallpaper.jpg. So now if I go look on my radio, I go to my system settings, SD card, images. There it is right there. I can't view it on here because it's way too big of a picture, but uh, there it is. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you found it super useful. If you did, you know, hit that like button. Smash that like button, man. Um, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Uh, maybe leave a comment, share this video. Uh, my goal here is just to help people out, people who are new to OpenTX. So, yeah, thanks for watching.